Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video, we will go through how to make a first project in TIA Portal. When we first open up TIA Portal, we get to this portal view. To make a new project, we click on Create New Project. From here, we can choose a name for our new project. We can choose a path where we want to save the project. I will keep it on the standard path. And we can also add a comment to our project. We can now click on the Create button. Our project is now created, now we can open it up by clicking on Open the Project view. From here the first thing we want to do before we can start making a program. We have to add a PLC to run the project on. To do so, we click on Add New Device. In the Controllers tab, we can find all the PLCs available to add to the project. I am using the basic version of TIA Portal, so I can only use the 1200 series of Siemens PLCs. Before we add a PLC, we can give our PLC a name. I will now choose a PLC for my project. When we found one we like, we can click on the OK button. We can now choose some security settings for our PLC. It is things like passwords and access levels. I will go without any specific protection for this project. Now we have our PLC added to the project. To open up the main block where we can program, we have to first open the Program Blocks tab. Then double-click on Main Organization Block 1. From here we can start make our programming. We can find inputs, outputs, and blocks to add from this row. To add a normally open input, we simply click and drag it into the programming rung. Once we got our normally open input here, we want to define a tag name and an address for it. To do so, we click on it and type in a name we want. Once that is done, we right-click on the name and click on Define Tag. From here, we can see the name we given our tag. Then we can choose if we want it to be a local or global tag. I will choose it as a global memory bit. Then if want we can decide which address and data type it should have. I will keep it as the given M0.0. .0. Then we click on the Define button. Let's add an output and define it too. If we want to make an AND circuit, we can add another normally open contact after the first one.
If we want to make an OR circuit, we have to click on the Open Branch button to get a branch below the first tag. Then we just drag another contact on the arrow. Then we drag the arrow back up. If we want to change a normally open contact, we can double click on it and choose the normally closed contact from the list. Before we simulate this program, we will have to compile the program to see if there's any errors. To compile, we need to click this button. If we open this tab, we can see if any error have occurred. To start the PLC simulation, we need to click this button. Now we got our simulated PLC here, it will try to download the program immediately. Make sure to start the module too. We can see once this lamp is greened the module is started and in run mode. Now to monitor our programming we have to click on this button with the glasses. Now that we can see our signals, we can modify their value. To do so, we right-click on which contact we want to change value to and open the Modify tab. Here we can change it to True or False. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.